Hello Flockers, how's everybody doing? Today is Tuesday, April 2nd, 2019. Where has this year run off to? It's all, We're already into month number four. It is 6.59 p.m. Oh, no, it is 7 p.m. Eastern Daylight Savings Time. How is everybody doing? We've got a few people in the chat room. Janice Glunz was number one in line. And she was quickly followed by Spanky. And here's Lisa, my eclectic life. How are you? Spanky is... Spanky's little dog Pixie has been issue free for the last 48 hours, so hopefully she doesn't have any more episodes. Hello, Andrea. How are you, darling? Hello, Christine G. How are you? Okay, so what's been going on here? Um... On Saturday, I think it was, Saturday. Now I can't remember. Um, I took the tractor out. Maybe it was uh, Maybe it was Friday. I don't know. Hello there, Squirrel. How are you? Hello there, Amber Moon. How are you? And Amber Moon gave me her name and I've forgotten it. Is it no, it's not Faith, is it? Is it Faith? I have trouble remembering names. I'm sorry. Amber. Her name is Amber. Hello there, Amber. Maybe? Yes? No? I don't know. Okay. Um, so yeah, Friday, I think it was, or Saturday, I took the... Um, Hi, Melon. How are you? I took the tractor out and I fired her up for the first time since we had snow. And I was very happy that she just actually started i thought maybe the battery would be dead but nope it started right up um and i used what is called a box a box blade um that uh, has teeth on the bottom of it and will dig into your driveway so it, it basically tears up the hard surface it breaks it all up and then as you are dragging it behind the tractor it fills from the high spots and deposits in the low spots. So basically, you fix all the all the problems with your driveway. So I did half my driveway, and I still have to call uh, my internet provider to find out how deep they buried the the um, fiber cable to my house, so I can do the other half of the driveway. So I got uh, I got nine hundred feet. No. I got 1,100 feet done, so I have another another 1,100 to do. Yeah, I regraded it. Yep. Yeah. So it desperately needed. Hello there, Linda. How are you? My gosh, Linda Hansen posted some pictures from from her home in Norway, and oh my God, she had snow up to the the nightlight outside her front door. Oh my God. No, thank you. So what else happened? Um, the gator guy finally came on Monday. He came yesterday and he picked up my gator and he's going to go fix it for me. Hopefully that'll be back on Friday because I have not been able to get around my property at all without that. It was amazing. You saw those pictures from Linda? They were crazy. Anyway, 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 so um, I tried something today and it was a fail. I'll switch to the overhead. So, yeah, I don't like it. It's very childish. We're doing finger painting tonight and um, yeah, it's not it's not working. So that was a fail. Um, but so I changed rather than hi Debbie how are you rather than shooting for a landscape um, I'm gonna do floral and I did this piece in my big birth uh, big yeah big not big Bertha behemoth Bertha um, a long time ago and it's just flowers lots and lots and lots of flowers 
So I'm probably going to shoot for something like this because this came out really good. A lot of the flowers have quite a bit of detail in them and uh, I do like it. So that's probably what we're going to end up doing. Oh, Lisa's leaving already. Well, thanks so much for stopping by, Lisa. It, yeah, okay. <laughs> Janice says it's child, it's childlike fun, not childish. Well, I don't know. It's it's really amateurish, and I don't like it. So, but I what I'm going for is I was watching several people finger paint. And they did it with such wild abandon, and it looks so fantastic um, that I thought, oh, I could do that and do trees. But I'm using craft paint, and maybe it's not the right thickness. Maybe it's not the right viscosity. I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just the user and not the tools. Anyway, so this was a fail, and I'm glad I didn't waste a canvas on it. So what I thought we would do is do... Um, some flowers. Let me see. Now I got some larger canvases, but I don't know if I want to use one yet. I think I'll try a smaller, smaller canvas. You know, cause. Uh, it, you said it, you could use it as a background. Yeah, I guess I could. Hi, Janet. How are you? I, I have boogers in my head. Otherwise, the cold is gone. So, um, I hope you are feeling, feeling good, Janet. Oh, dear. I love looking at all the pictures you post on Facebook. You produce so much stuff. And it's always so beautiful. Ouch. So this is um, an Arteza canvas panel, 11 by 14. It's what I've been doing all of my um, paper tubes on. Um, so I guess I'm just going to do, I don't know, um, um, I'm thinking I'd like a fence, but I don't know. I'm, I'm very quickly losing my, um, my mojo here. I know where's Carrie. Look at my glass mat. Yes, I was, I was practicing. I have to do, I want to do some kind of drawing. I don't want to just start with flowers because then they end up floating in space and that doesn't look very good. Um, and there's a lot of glare on my glass mat, so maybe I'll actually remove it for the, for the evening and we'll use this paper. Pretty soon I should be able to turn the glass the, the water back on and start using my sink again in here. It'll be nice to have running water. So I'm no good at landscapes. <sighs> Pull out some of your magazine pictures and get inspiration. Calendar pics or something. That's a great idea. That is a great idea. And this calendar is out of date again. Um Let me um yeah. I have no inspiration. <laughs> oh, those are not calendars. See if I can find a calendar or a magazine. Let's say this is
This is not working. Fence, tractors, chickens, flowers. I know I want to do flowers along a fence, but that requires, you know, a background of something. And I just don't think I've got... Um, yeah. This is quickly, quickly ending in misery here. Um, I ha would have to draw a background. Paint a background. I'm no good at that. Let's see. Maybe we'll just go with a fence and lots of flowers. Okay. I, I cannot draw a tractor. <laughs> That's for sure. So I don't know, maybe... Maybe a fence? I should have drawn this out beforehand. You thought I had before what? I did do a painting of my wildflower meadow. I don't know where it is at the moment. But I wanted to do something similar. And I thought rather than just having a whole, no, I've never drawn a tractor. I don't know how to draw a tractor. Um, I would like a fence. I would like a, I don't know how to draw it though. Um, Just trying to get some rough rough lines in there I guess right I mean you probably hi Connie you probably won't see any of it anyway And I, I don't know how to, I, I have no confidence in my drawing. That's my problem. So I guess I'll just, I'll draw this in first and I'll use, let's see, let me pull out some thicker, more thicker rubber paints. We got some browns. And this is, that looks like it's not that'll basics that should work here's some more that's not what about like a grayish here's a reddish brown that's dark blue don't want dark blue All right, we'll try with that. <clears throat> so this is all going to be finger paint. Whoopsie.
Whoa, it exploded. A total complete explosion. This one will explode too. All right, so basically I'm looking for kind of a grayish weathered brown and that seems to be this color. So I'm just going to take some dollops of color on my fingers and just start dragging it down the canvas. So is anybody going to finger paint along with me tonight? Or are you all just going to sit there and watch me make a disaster here? Once I get beyond the fence, I'll be fine. That's just... Um, Just the fence part that's scaring me. Oh, Janice will be right back. Is too red but nobody's gonna see it anyway let's see do I have enough here to do the last one All right, I really don't think you're going to see it, see any of it when, <clears throat> when this is done, but all right, let me dry that off. Your grandson had a concert tonight in a couple of hours. Oh, so you're only going to be here for a while. Well, that's good. I hope you enjoy the concert. You like watching me finger paint? <clears throat> I, I tend to panic. Because I, you know, I want it to, you know, look like all the other people I see finger painting. <laughs> yeah, I take, I guess it takes more than one canvas, right? All right. So let me hit that with the dryer so it doesn't, so it doesn't uh, mix with the flowers. Picasso, yeah.
Okay. Hi, Susan. How are you? <clears throat> All right. So there is a pretty, pretty poor excuse for a fence, but hopefully it would, it will uh, hold the flowers up. Now, I guess I have to have some kind of blue in the background for some kind of sky. For some kind of sky, I don't want cobalt. That's a little too blue in my opinion. What other colors do I have back here? These are really old paints. Really old. Probably should have put the sky in first, right? Oh. There's a gazillion dark blues in here, but no light blues. I need a light blue. Pretty please. see how this is you doing okay three more days three more days and hopefully a whole lot better you getting your lower back injection on in three days that's good hopefully it does something for you now let's see what color that is that's going to require some some white because that is, uh, oh, now I know it was dried up. The, the lid is cracked. All right, let's find some white here. Some white. Yeah, I should have put the sky in first. Oh well. What are you gonna do? This is this is a a show on what not to do. Don't do it like I'm doing it. Follow the experts. And then I'll all get covered up with flowers. I just love it when the logging truck's engine brake on my road. Especially at 2 o'clock in the morning. Alright, yeah, that's pretty good. At least I got the canvas covered. I make it interesting. <laughs> uh, well, no, there's the Cranky Crafters is still very much alive, but um, we are all patiently awaiting for Carrie to feel better. Um, she had her surgery, which she told folks about. She had a hysterectomy, but she's having some issues. So. Um, we're waiting for her to feel better. 
once she feels better, then we will pick up where we left off on the Cranky Crafters. Why would anybody be loading and running logs to a mill at 2 a.m.? I have no clue, but they love going up and down this road at all hours. I tell you, it can be really annoying. I'll put some clouds in the sky as soon as I'm done getting the base coat on here. Ah, oh, thank you, sweetheart. Yeah, less traffic on the roads, yeah. Who knows why they do it, but they do it. Oh, that didn't work. Well, it's a good thing flowers are covering it, that's for sure. It weren't dry. I'm just trying to get some color on the canvas, that's all. I would have colored this in first if I had my brain in drive rather than on lunch break. All right, there we go. Now let's get some white in here. They do it like that in Vermont? Yeah, safety reasons. Yeah, that's very true. I mean, I guess if you load up the truck before you leave at the end of the day and you come in early and you have a loaded truck, then you can uh, run it to the mill without traffic being on the road. Yeah, they do it all night. Yeah, I used to watch those logging shows. All right, so now I'm guessing we need some kind of grass-like coloring. I can do grass. I have, I have, that's hooker's green. That's, that's always grass-like. Your grandfather-in-law worked at the mill in Maine? Okay, that, that explains it. And I have some bright yellow green. And we can just work it in the background. Just. I'm running out of space here. I'm working myself into a corner. Let me get the mouse out of the way. And I bought this hooker's green just because it said hooker's green. I thought it was funny. Carrie bought a tube too, so I guess she thought it was funny too. So I'm just getting a base color in here in the background. It's all going to get covered. Just in case it shows up. Make some, make some grass-like things happening here. <clears throat> and 
this brown is still slightly damp. So. And I, I know that if I were following, I, what is it, the golden rules, the rule ratio and all that, <clears throat> that the fence would not be delineating this, the, the horizon. But oh well. I don't know how some of these people do it. They have no formal training or anything, but it's like there's a magician in the fingertips. They can just look at a picture of, of a person or a building or something and they just it it's like they're taking a photograph there's a photograph coming right out of their fingertips I wish I could do that <clears throat> It's my art, do it my way. How is Daddams doing? Daddams is going to the Lowe's up in New York because apparently Lowe's is ditching their cobalt uh, tool line because they bought the craftsman, lo craftsman line from um, what was left of Sears. Kmart, Sears, whatever you want to call it. Um... So he's he ran off to the the hardware store to try and buy some cobalt tools. I do like this this fence post. It kind of looks like wood. I like that. But nobody's really going to see the fences. I don't think. It's just in case. Just in case a flower decides it doesn't want to go where I want it. Because, you know, flowers are like that. They'll go wherever you, wherever you don't want them. And then they get called weeds. I don't know about you, but I like dandelions. They're good to eat. You can use the flower petals in soaps and all other things. The greens you can use to eat. <clears throat> Let's get a little tan in there. Your ranch fence was rough split rails, yeah. I like those types of fences. Um, I like the ones that they have on the Blue Ridge Parkway. They are like quarter split logs, but they crisscross. There's no, there's really no post. You have like three logs going this way and three going this way and they just rest on the ground. And then the next batch goes like, and it just continues. It looks really cool. I do like it. And we're going to do some, some stuff down here that'll maybe be a pathway or I don't know what it's going to be. We'll make it that kind of, that kind of green or brown. I'll just throw some paint down there and we'll see what happens with it. cover up the canvas 
can't handle having white space. Hello, Carlana, how are you? And there's Sherry, how are you? Is this for the 100 paintings? I don't know what that is, my love. Um, is it If it's a challenge, then um, I, I am unaware of the challenge. Um, let's put a dab of a dab of brown in there, I guess. A wee bit of brown. Need more than that, silly. Ooh, dandelion salad with bacon and vinegar. Oh my God, does that sound awesome? I'm sure there's ways to, you know, fade in a, a, a proper path. But I need more brown. You're fine as frog hair. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Trying to make it look like it's, you know, a worn path and it's not laying down the way I want it to. Oh well. Oh well. It is what it is. We'll dump some more brown in there. I just sounded a little bit like W.C. Fields. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> oh, it's oh, that's the cinnamon challenge. All right. I, I have not um, signed up to participate. Um, don't know as to whether or not I'm I'm not a real painter I'd be afraid all right well you know it is what it is <sighs> I love cinnamon and Angela Anderson and ginger they're all they're all fantastic people in fact i was watching the finger painting challenge that the three of them did together um i think it was like a year or so ago but anyway all right so there is our our um childish childlike <clears throat> background and now I can have some fun. I'll, I'll dry it off and then we'll cover it with flowers and hopefully none of, none of the background will remain visible. Hopefully. Hello there, Kristen. How are you? Thanks for hanging out with me tonight.
Oh, you've been busy? Well, busy is good. Busy is good. It's better than being bored. Dinner thing, huh? I get it. <laughs> it's amazing that, that, that the hubby has to eat every single day. I just don't know. Trade him in and get a different model? I don't know. I'm just going to drag the rest of this on the canvas. Because it's sitting here and it's wet. Kind of make it look more like dirt. How did that blue get on there? For heaven's sakes, I don't want blue in there. It kind of works as a gray, though. There we go. You think you'll keep him after seeing what's out there? I get it. I get it. I have no intentions of giving up my datums, that's for sure. Okay, so so far we've start I've started this thing backwards. I put the sky and the grass in. Um after the fence, which was silly of me, but oh well. So it, sign up for the April Flockers Friendship Channel. Uh, cha uh, yeah, Flocking Friendship Swap is opened. So please run yourselves over to the flock. And um, sign up if you haven't already. All right, let's roll this this way for now. Oh, good. Janice signed up. That's good. Good, good, good. Glad to hear it. Okay. Hello, his royal spudness. What a pretty aerial of a pool. <laughs> yep. It's a pool. It's a pool of something. I really should be using some kind of plastic something, something. Like a palette or something. You'd think I've, I would have one of those. I do somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Um... Hmm. I have a plastic bag. I could use that. You worked on your junk collage today? That's good. It turned into a disaster? Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm sorry, Linda. If you all remember, last week Linda showed us this beautiful wood palette that she had basically built um, a whole three-dimensional sculpture on top of it. And wow, that thing was incredible. And she had made it for the pick 10. And she ended up covering the whole thing in black gesso. All right, so. I think we're going to start with some green backgrounds. I'm 
Let's see what other paints we've got here. I've got a Vert Phthalo something that's really dark. That might come in handy. Oh, wow. I'm glad to see. You want to show us a picture, Linda? Yeah, let no post a picture of it and let me know and I'll switch to the I'll switch my camera. Let's see it. I love in progress shots. Jen, how are you, darling? <laughs> I saw that, Mark. That was hysterical. How you doing, Jen? I hope things are well with you. I remember it's not done yet, Linda. Did you see the post? Mark made a post in the flock. Um, he shared a video of some lady running naked out of her house to protect her chickens because a fox got into her yard. Yeah, you might have to kick the, <laughs> you might have to kick the fox, yeah. I'm a waiting, Linda. <sighs> I'll tell you. So yeah, Rosie uh, got herself into quite a bit of trouble the other night. I came back Wednesday night from church. No, Sunday night. I came back Sunday night um, after church. And I have to keep her in the mud room because she destroys the house if I don't. She destroyed the mud room. She basically ate through my door. Um, the back of my exterior door is shredded. So she's in trouble. She slept outside all night that night. So, yeah, I can't, I can't leave her in the house when I go out anymore. So she's going to have to be an outside dog. <laughs> yeah, she really made a complete disaster out of the door. And the, and the, what do you call it? The, uh, finished whatever the pieces that go around the door yeah she made a mess uploading now okay oh that's gonna be so awesome Susan Susan's getting her new puppy on Sunday. That's awesome. Yeah, Jen, Jen's dog Tilly chewed up a piece of their baseboard as a baby. Well, she's not a baby. She's nearly 12. Mark says, 
The squirrel was on the other side of the door teasing her. Yeah. She was trying to kill it for me? Okay. <laughs> That's her story and she's sticking to it. I'm just waiting for um, Linda's picture to upload. Here it is. Oh, wow. That is awesome. That is so cool. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do, Janice. I don't know if I'm going to build her a run, buy a kennel. I don't know. This is really cool, Linda. You do such beautiful work. That is epic, epic, epic. Simply awesome. Awesome sauce. Okay. I think it's gorgeous, Linda. You do such amazing work. You really do. All right, so basically at this point, I'm just going to put some greens down here, and I'm just going to do a background of various greens to put my flowers on. <clears throat> Back to the hollyhock hocks and stuff, yeah. All right. And I'm just going to be laying in color basically. You know, just try to cover up the background. Hide the disaster of offense I made. And they can be all sorts of color leaves. I can draw in, you know, regular leaves and stuff. Um, and intermix them with the flowers at a later stage. But right now I'm just trying to get some color in there. I'm trying to put the background in before I do the foreground. Like I should have done the rest of the canvas. Hi Sandra, how are you? I am finger painting tonight because why not? Got to cover up multitudes of sins here.
it ever gets warm, yeah. You're planting zinnias this year? I love zinnias. The goldfinches were disappointed. <laughs> they submitted their uh, their distaste on a um, customer support card or what? All right, well, there's some background and, and green anyway, right? There's some. All right, there's some green. They did on the cornflowers, huh? No zinnias or sunflowers. Oh, well. All right, so I have a lot of green left, don't I? Oh, well, it's just paint. I'm gonna wipe it up because I need the space. Okay, now I have green paint all over me. Let's get some flower colors here. I'll flip it over. They prefer flower heads over thistle feeder? Yeah, probably. I don't want brown at this point. Thank you very much. Um... Let's see, I have that, I have that, all these nice reds here, a couple purples, that is dioxazine purple, um, of course we would need some yellow. I really do like the thicker paints for this. Uh, here is orange and some more yellow. Oh, that's a pretty color. And then I have all of my um, PBO paints that we could do flowers in, too. Those would be pretty. All right. All right, I think what I'm going to do first is get my tube of white paint. Let's see, is it up here? Yes. Because I'm going to need me some white. When I have this pretty purple too. I think we'll use that. Oh, those sound like they're nice, Linda. Linda got some Grumbacher acrylics, and she says they're really thick and creamy and heavily pigmented. Hello there, Kim. How are you? I am making a sad excuse for a finger painting. some purple and let's get some of that color out there Alrighty. the tractor was good I got half my driveway 
done at least for hello there Sandra how are you at least for the beginning you know I got half of it done the first level I have to go back and do um, I have to go back and do the other half and then do the whole thing all over so and we're probably probably going to get a truckload of gravel at some point all right, so I like to do the following to make my flowers. And we'll start over here on this side so you can see what's going on. I have three colors here on my candy wrapper. And normally what I do is I take a dab of white and a dab of purple. So I have half and half there. I have a little yin yang there. And then I start laying it in. And you get the little swirls that kind of look like um, morning glories or petunias or whatever you want to call them. And you can really just do the whole thing like this. See, once I get to the flowers, I'm okay. It's the rest of the it's the rest of the necessary stuff that freaks me out. But once I get to the flowers, I'm good. And I give my finger a little a little twist as I'm pulling it off and it just makes it look like it's swirled. You can't see over there. So you just give it a little bit of a swirl. They remind me of morning glories more than anything else. And I love morning glories. They pop up wherever they want. I don't care if they're coming through concrete or what. If they want to be there, they're going there. Those two ounce bottles of craft paint won't do it for you anymore. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? Now, Stephanie, boy, now there's an artiste. Let me tell you, I'm a hack. She's a for real deal. Should have Stephanie do my backgrounds for me, and then I can do the pit. Then I can do these little flowers. I don't want an all white one. That's kind of silly. That'll look like a whole bunch of them right there. Let me zoom out a wee bit. Like I said, once I get to the flower section, I'm okay. It's the sky and the fence and the grass. Because it looks very cartoonish to me. But the flowers I can have lots of fun with. Hello there, Kimberly. How are you? You're traveling tonight? Well, I hope you have safe travels. 
Watch out for all the loonies on the road, please. And now I'm thinking that this canvas is um, way too small because I like to make really big flowers. And this is so tiny and far away, I won't be able to do it. I, I don't have a real tiny itty bitty finger to use. Yes, the dirty paintbrush is Kimberly or is, is Kim. And then Kimberly Creations is obviously Kim. Stephanie is deliberately creative. And boy, is she ever. That's cool, Sandra. That's cool. I sent my partner part of a magazine. I sent some pictures from the magazine and um, I think an article on one of the more uh, touristy attraction type mountains in the area, I do believe. Yeah, you can get a lot of detail in those little things. They really look like flowers. Um, um, um. Running out of room. North Carolina is a beautiful state. I'm just, you know, partial to, um, partial to my little corner here. I do love my little corner. All right, so this, is, and if you want, if you want glorious paint. <laughs> well, you deserve the compliments, uh, Stephanie. Your work is beautiful. Your work is fantastic. Um, if you want really rich feeling, thick and creamy paints, it's these, boy. These are gorgeous. They are so much fun to work with. Plus, you know, they have the, the interference, the shimmery thing going on. It's hard to, um, do anything more than these little splotchy flowers. You know, it's... I don't think it's possible to work this small and do, um, what do you call it, like roses and stuff. What was the name of the magazine, Sandra? Yeah, I love these. I love these PBOs. They are glorious paints, boy. They really are delicious. This is going to be nothing but morning glories at this point. I don't know if I can do anything smaller. Let's see if I can do... I don't know, maybe a 
bit of I I don't know how I how small I can go. Can I post the link for the Arteza paint and canvas giveaway? Of course you can, sweetheart. Go for it. You can post it in the flock too if you like. You're you're a member of the flock. I have no problems with as long as you don't you know do it like every five seconds. Uh, I, I have no problems with folks posting links to their their sites or whatever. Go for it. Go for it, darling. Your stuff is gorgeous. I don't know how I'm going to do with these real tiny flowers. I may have to cheat and use a uh, not a finger. Not a finger. Let's see if that'll work. Yeah, that works. Not it's not a finger, but oh well. It's not a brush. I draw the line at brushes. There we go. I think I'm gonna do a bunch of those little ones. I'll zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. And I'll work in the middle here. I'm just taking a wee bit of, uh, let's see, there you go, a wee bit of yellow and white on here, and I'm just dragging it. This is going to start looking like my doodle pores. But just give give something a little bit interesting down here rather than all this morning glory stuff and if you have a thick paint with a point on it and don't scratch the canvas you can draw over the rest of the paint even though it's wet <clears throat> Q-tips replace fingertips. Um, I don't think I've got any Q-tips here. Got them back at the house, but not here. So I'm just letting the paint touch the canvas and pulling it off. Give, give them some orange centers. I could do my little Johnny jump ups too, probably. I love those little things. You forgot to change the chat again to live. <laughs> I don't know if you've really missed missed um, a lot. I don't think so. I don't. I hope not. You can get in the zone doing this. No, it does not look like a finger. I'm sorry, Mark. My fingers are too big and fat. Sorry. But it's not a brush, and that's what's important. 
I may abandon this canvas and go to something larger. Um, cause like I was showing in the beginning, this is what I was going for. Whoa, holy cow. Let me zoom out. <laughs> That's what I was going for. And I can't do the roses in such a tiny yeah I have to stock I have to get some q-tips over here I'll bring a sandwich bag filled with them I don't think I could do a rose on here let's try it I'll have to use the stick but don't know Yeah, I'd have to use this stick. But we can try it. I'll zoom back in. This is, this is like working in miniature here. You'd have to be right on top of it to see what it is. Yeah, you can kind of get a rose. Kind of, kind of small scale. Let's see if we can do another one. Oh, there's another little one. Let's see if we can't do a butt or two. They are tiny. Goobers on the end of my knitting needle here. Can't tell if they are roses or carnations.
You can make out the roses? They look like double delights? Good, I'm glad that they look like flowers. And it's really, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't really benefit the painting to be using the PBOs because this whole thing is what? This whole thing is like half an inch wide. So they are tiny. But they are fun to make. And sometimes they look like peonies to me. My mother loved those peonies, boy. She had me running around picking up ants to put ants on the peonies because apparently the, the peonies need the ants to eat the coating off of the flower in order for them to open. I didn't know that. But, so yeah, I was picking up ants. My mother loved, loved, loved to garden. Come on. Oh, wow. Linda has peony plants that are over 50 years old. Boy, but I love to latch on to some of those. Do they divide or do they, they spread? That's something, 50 years old, huh? That's pretty awesome. Yep. Let's see if we can't get one here. Oh, you can't even see that. Oh, they multiply every year. Wow. They were mo your mom's and she died in 78. Wow. That's something, huh? You used to have irises that through generation bulbs came from your great great grandmother's garden. Isn't that gorgeous? I love irises. All right, that's not looking like a, there you go. I got paint goobers building up on my knitting needle here. So. Now I've got a bit of yellow in there. That's something, that is something. Half and half there. You have uh, Mark has. 100,000 generation weeds in your yard. They come up every year. <laughs> Stranger and bigger each year. Yes, sirree. Oh, that would be awesome, Linda. Linda wants to dig up some of hers and plant them at her son's house.
That's wild. Kimberly has irises and columbines that came from her grandmother. Yeah, I hate to see plants get tossed out to it. But I, uh, I'm definitely a naturalist. You know, if dandelions want to grow in my yard, let them grow. I like little yellow flowers. I think they're pretty. You can make these things three-dimensional. <clears throat> My paint is getting really gummy on me. It's starting to get thick. They do make great uh, plants for staining. They do. Somebody was... Um, Saying, oh, you could use dandelion petals in, so in your soaps and stuff. Um, and somebody got the bright idea to try and dehydrate them. Dehy uh, dehydrate the flowers um, first. And then use them. But they turn to white puffs when you dehydrate them. So you can't, you can't dehydrate dandelions. You can let the flowers dry out, but that's about it. I, I like dandelions. I think they're pretty. And I like the little white puffs. I think I need to zoom out again. You guys can't see anything. Get some color on that one. <coughs> I tried to grow clematis up in New York and I thought it, you know, I planted two plants right next to each other and only one of them came up and I thought that it was a goner. I have a fuzz in here. Um, I thought it was a goner and then it came back one year and then it petered out the next year and then it came back again. So I don't know what the status is now. I'm not up there. All right, the paint is getting too gummy here. Having troubles with it. I like clematis. I like things that, you know, climb. I saw somebody had um, their entire mailbox completely covered in clematis. And you could only see the door. It looked really nice. Paint is getting too gummy to work with here. I think I may have to trash it. Yeah, it's not coming off. Sticking to the toothpick here, or knitting needle, whatever you want to call it. <sighs> blush purple and white those sound pretty mark <clears throat> oh 
I'm not I'm not much of a green thumb. I um I can kill a plastic plant. I'm gonna go back to some of these more little little tiny yellow ones here. This is going to be so tiny. Yeah, it's not working. My paint is all goopy. We've missed you too, Kimberly. We have... I do hope you can come back and join us more frequently. <clears throat> I think i got to get rid of my paint and start over. Not coming off the toothpick. <sighs> yep. All right, time. Oh, I know that feeling, Kimberly. I do know that feeling. Oh, that's pretty. If these baby wipes weren't so linty, I would save them. Um, Janice, you could plant a pot full of wheatgrass, and that could be his plant. Dinky, Dinky has a, um, oh, good night, squirrel. Dinky has a, a wheat plant, a wheatgrass plant that I made for him. Oh, I keep banging my head on this light. All right, I have to get some fresh paints. And I'll flip it back over and let that side dry while I use this side. Cat grass, yeah. You can make them catnip, yeah. I'll try not to put out so much. I'll just use, I'll do, I'll be boring. I'll do all the yellows. And let's get, where did this come from? Mark dropped something on my canvas here. He only gets dried catnip. <laughs> oh, so far, so far. Well, my wheatgrass is uh, growing so thick in um, in the pot that he can't get to it. You can't see what I'm doing.
Dinky, surprisingly, the first time I gave him some catnip, um, he went crazy for it, but now he's like, meh. Moving on. I was like, okay. I'm glad I didn't spend a lot of time and energy on getting them fancy organic catnip. Uh, the wheatgrass I planted from seed. I should say Sanjay planted from seed. Um, and, you know, we really put a lot of seed in there. So it, it's really packed. I don't think you can get to the dirt. So, But the catnip, I got a, a bottle of catnip from Walmart. And he just wasn't all that interested in it. You have the spray stuff. He likes that. Did I wash? Yes, I did. That's where I got the inspiration, Linda. When he did that rooster. Oh, my God. We're talking about uh, Josh. Um, I can't remember his last name. Is it Andrews? Um, Alex from Curiosity, Inc., his friend Josh is an artist and he does finger painting and oh my god. Oh god, he just does that with such wild abandon. Oh, I wish I could do that. Alexander, yeah, Josh Alexander. He is so talented. <clears throat> That rooster that he did just blew my mind. Exactly, exactly. It's just in him. He's a natural. Uh, 
I mean, I, I know I have talent. I know I can do certain things. But I just can't handle landscapes or drawing. It's, it's very difficult for me. Because if it looks the least bit amateurish, I'm not happy with it. <clears throat> I know he sold it. I know. Oh, what I wouldn't have done to get that. Oh, I, I want to know how that went. Maybe he's still trying to deal with it. I'm sure he'll post eventually because, you know, otherwise he wouldn't have, you know, told us about it. What else was he doing in Colorado Springs? Was he going to a conference or something? Maybe he's antiquing or something. All that kind of didn't work, did it? Let's drag that out. All right, I think that's enough of those. Them there are those little yellow things. Oh, he flew there. Okay. Well, he could, you know, rent a truck and hit some flea markets or whatever and drive back to Canada. All right, I think that's enough of yellow. For now. Oh boy, look at my fingers. Well smeared and print painted. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, I'm sure he'll be fine. He'll he'll let us know. Alright, I guess maybe I'll try some more uh some more roses maybe. Oh, Kimberly's back. She had to heat up leftovers. I uh, I went to do my um, home chef thing and stuff didn't last long enough. It said it was good for seven days, but it wasn't cookable. So I sent them a email. And then I just kind of wung it. I had I had some sweet and sour chili sauce. So I mixed that with some hot um, sesame seed oil and some peanut butter. And I did cabbage, onions, garlic, chili pepper, red pepper, um, and some some freezer pieces of chicken tenders or something like that amateurish looking like grandma moses <laughs> louise rawlings i'll have to look her up i love grandma moses honey meatloaf Ooh, that sounds good oh you weren't a big fan Delish pork tenderloin. Oh, I love a good roast pork. I love fresh pork. I'm not really a fan of ham, but oh yeah, tenderloin. Oh, that sounds good. Yes, I got my peanut butter. Yup, it's got nothing but peanut butter. Uh, it's got nothing but peanuts and salt. So that's all I wanted. And I got it. 
Okay, so let's go. Let's go wipe some paint off. I love meatloaf. I love me a good meatloaf. But I tend to, I, I can't deal with, you know, just meat and some spices. I, I got to put stuff in it. I got to put stuff in it. So, yep. I do like me a meatloaf. Come on. The paint just does not want to come off. Gobbing a bit of pasta and veggies before I grab my husband and go. Oh, you're gobbling a piece. Okay. Well, I hope your concert is wonderful, Debbie. Yeah, I like to put things in my meatloaf. Give me some red. There we go. Oh, I, oh, peanut butter. Yeah, PB2. I have that. I love that stuff. But I wanted peanut butter. And I'm a crunchy peanut butter fan. And down here, it is impossible to find peanut butter that doesn't have palm oil and sugar in it. And I didn't want dry peanut butter powder. I wanted peanut butter. Because I like to add it to my savory dishes a lot of the times. Come on. There we go. Good enough. Oh, let's go take a look. Yeah, I need to have a little salt in my peanut butter, Jess. Okay, let's go take a look. Hang on a second. Let me run over here to the flock and see what we've got here. Oh my God, I love her. Oh, wow. That is gorgeous. Hear the coyotes? Oh, I like that. Those are adorable. Now you see, if I try to, if I try to do something like that, it would come out looking horrible. Hi, Malia, how are you? Yep, you heard the coyotes, yep. Okay. Back to... Back to... Come on now, work with me here. Oh, 
what happened to Malia? Oh, I'm so sorry. What happened, Malia? I am so very sorry to hear that, sweetheart. Oh, the chicken was already acting strange. Okay. You know, we did have some pretty cold temperatures. Are they outside yet? Or are they still in? Because it did get pretty cold again. Usually if a chicken is acting odd, it's by the time they show any symptoms, it's too late. Come on. Not, not having much luck here. My paint keeps drying out. The hen was definitely sick, yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> the, yeah, guineas are like that. They, uh, they're very bold. They forget that they only weigh a couple of ounces. Maybe a pound. Let's see. Let's see if I can't get a rose over here. Oh, Janice has to go appease the furry one. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, uh, Malia doesn't live too far from me. She's about an hour and a half. She's by uh, just, I think you're a little bit further east than Jen Yates. Oh, these baby wipes. Oh, Kimberly is finally, finally uh, warming up. That's good. And In Indianapolis. Yeah, I, I saw snow on Sunday. Guineas can be nasty. I remember I was watching... Um, a TV show called Northwoods Law and it was about the game wardens um, up in uh, Maine and they got a call about this strange huge bird attacking their dog 
And they expected, they didn't know what they thought. Oh, maybe it's a turkey and it must have been like a chihuahua. It was a guinea hen and a pit bull. So yeah, the guinea hens beat up the pit bull. It was 60 today. Well, that's good. Yeah, we had we had snow flurries on Sunday morning. That was a good show, wasn't it? Okay, what else are we doing here? I don't I don't know how this is I don't know how this is going. I'm not really feeling this. Oh, I love the Brahmin chickens. Those are huge. Yeah, guinea hens are dumb, yeah. And a lot of people complain that they, they get the guinea hens to rid their property of ticks, but they end up going to their neighbor's yard. Luckily, I, you know, I've got 70 acres here, so hopefully they wouldn't end up in the neighbor's yards. They'd end up staying on my property. Yeah, New Hampshire, I don't know. It doesn't have the same... I really liked the Maine. And what I liked about it was a lot of the time they were in areas near where my brother lives. My brother lives in Gardner. So I was always hoping to catch a glimpse of that town on, uh, on the show. Well, that doesn't look like a rose. Oh, well. And I'm, I'm just having trouble getting the paint off of here. I think this thing is a fail. I'm not all that thrilled with this. I'd like to do some larger flowers. Yeah, mean roosters are dinner, basically. Geese can be extremely nasty. Ducks, you can kind of like, you know, drop kick across the lawn, but ducks could also fly off. Geese are very nasty, they can be. Um, but a nasty rooster becomes dinner. On campus, I used to think it was funny when I was working up at the university in New York that um, we had so many Canadian geese. We, I think we had more geese than we had students. And we had over 25,000 students. But the geese would cross at the crosswalks. I have photographic evidence. They crossed at the crosswalks. <laughs> Yeah, geese are mean. I do want guineas. I'd love to raise uh, to raise and release some bob whites. A Jake turkey can do some damage. A Tom turkey definitely will do damage. Geese can kill a grown man? Yeah, if it gets sucked into a plane engine. I would like some Indian runner ducks. I think those are lots of fun. Those are cute. And Sanjay likes ducks. He wants some ducks. He wants duck eggs. I want chickens, that's for sure. I want more chickens. I have to build a chicken coop first. Oh, they attack with their wings. Yeah, geese, yeah. 
Swans are nasty. Swans can be really nasty. That does not look like a rose. Oh, that's nice, Kimberly. Kimberly had a uh, a duck's nest right in her front front by her flower beds by her front door one year. That that's sweet. Oh, enjoy yourself, Debbie. Have a good night. Y'all are liking this. <laughs> It's not, it's not really doing any. Oh, she quit hissing at you? Yeah. I had ducks that used to land in my backyard. Um, and there'd be rogue males landing on, on the roof of the house trying to get to the, the female duck. And the other, the male duck would have, they'd have fights. Always be fighting. I couldn't figure out why they picked my lawn, too. You know, my backyard. I guess there was no room at the pond. There was a pond about a mile away. Set it aside and come back to it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm, think I'm going to... I'm going to... Put an end to this I don't know I'm just <laughs> I was all gung-ho after watching a whole day's worth of YouTube videos on finger painting and I started it and it was like what were you thinking go back to paper tubes or something I think it really needs to be in a bigger scale You know, this, this is what I was going for. This is, you know, they're much larger. It's a larger scale, and it's a lot easier to work with. So that's kind of what I was going for. But anyway. Uh, I will toss that aside. And we can play bigger scale. This is torn. We'll play on this. We'll play on this. Let's do some lilacs. You encourage the wildlife, yeah. We do get a lot of hummingbirds when I put my feeder out. We do get a lot of hummingbirds. All right, now if we want some green in the background here. Yeah, we have carpenter bees. We also have mason bees and I like to encourage them because those are um, they come out and start pollinating things before the honeybees come out fully so I like to encourage them I'm having an avalanche here hang on alright let me get rid of this That hurt. Okay. okay. 
Oh, mason bees I try and encourage. The carpenter bees, no, because the carpenter bees bore holes into your wood to um, lay eggs. All right, so we'll just play here and I'll show you if I was going to make make some uh, lilacs. Need, <coughs> need a bit of a lighter color in here as well. Oh, that'd be too light. Let's go with this. Yeah, the mason bees are good to have. So that's how you make a stalk of lilacs. Yeah, I have a, a massive hive in my barn wall of honeybees. I'm hoping that Evan will be able to get them out this year. They've been in there for four years, so they're plenty healthy. So there's some lilac stalks. So there you go. You have a peony tattooed on your shoulder. Oh, cool. I love pansies. Let's do some pansies. Let's see. We have... Purple. And we need some yellow. Okay. And now I'm going to clean off my finger. Yeah, we have a lot of wasps too. No, that goes in the center. 
Um, for the life of me, I can't remember how to do a pansy. Okay, now I now I remember. Now I remember. Well, it's not pansy. Yeah, being in the country is so much fun, yeah. Let's see. You have you have a chrysanth chrysanthemum tattooed on your shoulder. I have Tigger the Tiger tattooed on my shoulder. I kind of like that with a little shot of with a little shot of the orange in there. That's kind of cool. There you go. There's a fancy fancy flower. Yeah, we have a lot of bats here too. Um, it, and it's nice in the summer, you can go out and if you're real quiet and just stand on the lawn and watch, you can see the bats come out, the skunks come out, you get to see all the critters come out. That's a lot of fun. I'm just doodling at this point. I'm done with tattoos, I think. Oh, oh, oh. I like that. That's pretty. I like that. These daylily things are fun to do. I could do a whole bunch of those. And I just grab a bunch of different colors on my fingertip and just smear. We have everything and anything here. Oh, that didn't work. Oh well. Anyway, I like smearing paint. It's fun. There you go. Yeah, farmer farms are expensive. That they are. Well, guys, I think tonight was pretty much a fail. <laughs> I don't know what happened in my brain. I don't like, I hate that. When I get this block, my my evil inner voice tells me, you're not going to work, this is not going to work, don't bother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your yard is like a rave at night. 
Yeah, it gets crazy here. Our the neighbor across the the road from us, about you know fifteen hundred feet to our north, they uh, they have like ten dogs, and the dogs are a real. Uh, they're all night long, all day long. Bark, 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 bark. But, um, so, I mean, this is what I was going for tonight. I wanted bigger flowers and it just didn't work. Next time, I think I have to do like one, one, um, post of a fence and just fill it with flowers. You know, I was thinking, you know, a front porch with lots of flowers, but I can't, I can't draw like that. But anyway, so I mean, these, but these little things, these little things can be fun. There's lots of different colors in them and you can just have fun playing with finger paints. I would like to do a chrysanthemum. I mean, maybe I could try a chrysanthemum. Let's see. What color? Let's try a chrysanthemum. A mum, mum, mum. I'll put that there. We'll do this bright orange and this nice yellow. A mailbox of flowers. Yep, you could do that. Well, it doesn't help that the paper is wrinkled. I think you have to start at the outside and work your way in. Because the other petals will fall on top of the outer ones. So if you kind of work your way in, yes, yeah, it's not working. The paper is too wrinkled. Oh, you just finished your clock. Very cool. How are you, Jenny? Yeah, um, I'm going to, I'm going to quit for the evening. My, uh, my brain is just not working. You know what the problem is, guys? All I can think about is paper tubes. I want to do more paper tubes. Oh, well. Oh, wow. Jenny's painting an eagle on a 16 by 20 canvas. I just got a bunch of... 16 by 20s um canvases on on i'm i'm itching to try one i have to come up with a design that i want to do but uh the paper tubes yeah those things are addicting they are that's for sure all right well i'm gonna end the show here tonight guys um because I'm, I'm just kind of, I was so absorbed with water, uh, finger painting for the last two days. That's all I can think of. And no matter what I try, it's like, meh. I mean, the lilacs don't look bad. But that was the size I was going for. So maybe I do need to pull out um, one of those 16 by 20s and, and spend some time drawing, um, you know, trying to draw, sketch it out. I could also try finger painting Starry Night. I saw somebody else do that, and that turned out really cool. But. Oh, good night, Shelly. So anyway, I'm going to end it here. 
before I get into any more messes. Look at this mess. These are all paper tube remnants. So if you're new to my channel, please do go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe button. Normally my projects are successful. Tonight was just a misadventure. But anyway, so um, hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you really hate, hated what I did, then slam that hate button twice. If you liked what I did, you can bang on that once. Um, leave a kind comment down below. And if you want to... Um, see what we're doing over in the flock on Facebook come on over there and join us there um, I will be back on Thursday night at 7 o'clock and maybe hopefully we will have a cranky crafters this Friday night I have completely lost the computer mouse there it is um, yeah <laughs> yeah it's funny but it's true. People do bang on it. So <laughs> what are you going to do? All right, guys, I'm sorry. This has been a flop of a show tonight. So uh, I'm going to end, end the, the damage here. <laughs> and I'll see you all on Thursday night at 7 o'clock. I love you all very, very much. And I pray for you every single day. And uh, I, I so look forward to hanging out with you a couple of times a week. I love you all very, very much. You have a great night. Night, flockers.